This is Ryu Palace Putikana, and it is the most popular Ryu in Putikana. Compared to the other Ryu hotel brands, Ryu Palaces offer the most in elegance and class. All I know is that I had the time of my life at Ryu Republica, and I can't wait to check out this property. Alright, Ryu Palace Punta Cana. Let's get this trip officially, officially started. This is the junior suite. It is the cheapest room available here at Ryu Palace Punta Cana. Uh, like any Ryu Palace, I think you get a lot for your money with the entry level room. The bathroom has a dual vanity with a step in shower. The bedroom area features a king bed setup as well as a little storage. And you have a separated living area as well with a sofa and a step out balcony. At every Ryu property, the star of the show is always the built-in liquor dispenser, and in this one, it's no different. And below it is the mini bar, and Ryu always does a great job at stocking those. I am really excited to see this property. Uh, there's so much to do. There is the beach, multiple restaurants. Of course, there are some parties I want to check out, but I'm going to get things started at one of my favorite places in all of Punta Cana, and that is the Ryu Pool. So technically there are three pools here at Ryu Palace Putikana, but really there are only two because one is an ultra small activity pool. Uh, the family pool is like the lap pool. That's where all the families and kids were hanging out. And then there is the main pool and that's where all the energy and action is. Uh, the staff came out later in the afternoon to get the crowd going even more. I was surprised for a family hotel that's not adults only. The pool was very adult in vibe and had a great energy. So that's gonna wrap up my pool time here, but my day and pool time is not over. I'm headed over to the Ryu party spot to check out their daytime pink pool party. Reviews are just insane. How is this a hotel? How do hotels throw better parties than like most lounges, clubs, and bars? Ryu just knows how to have the best time ever. Uh, that was the Ryu party place. It's a dedicated party spot for every single guest staying in this Ryu complex. I believe there are six hotels here, and that's the dedicated party spot. They throw four parties a week, uh, two during the day and two during the night. That was their daytime pink party, and it was awesome. Every time I leave one of those Ryu parties, I don't know what to think. Uh, all I know right now is that I need something to eat. I pretty much have been on a liquid diet all day. I'm gonna head upstairs, change, and then go check out the buffet. All right, day number two, I am headed down to the beach. The weather is absolutely perfect, but before that, I should probably talk about the buffet from last night. It was phenomenal. Up until this point, I could never imagine using those words to describe a Ryu buffet, but it was. I think I counted like eight or 10 different stations. There were so many options there, I literally could not film them all. Like any Ryu buffet, it was busy, but the items were constantly being replenished. And I was surprised about how many upscale items there were. One of my favorite things, which I've never really seen before at a Ryu, were the chef curated pre-prepared dishes. The eating area felt more like a grand ballroom than it did a dining hall. And you could even take your stuff outside in the courtyard if you wanted to enjoy the Putikana night. In terms of quality, selection, creativity, and overall experience, it is absolutely the best Ryu buffet I've ever seen.
So up until this point, I have yet to encounter a Ryu beach that I have not liked. Every one of them has been great up until this point, and this one is no different. Uh, the sand was soft, the water was relatively gentle and beautiful, and I always like how Ryu has palm trees on their beaches. The shady spots that they provide are highly coveted, and that's because they are the perfect place to enjoy a full Putukana beach day. Cleaning up the seaweed and hauling it away is usually something only the most elite and expensive hotels do because it's such a costly endeavor. I give Ryu a lot of respect for doing that. So my relaxation for the day is over. No dinner tonight. I am suited up and I'm headed over to the nighttime Leon party. All right, good morning. Uh, no, it's it's not morning. It is. It's 4 p.m. I uh, I definitely got some sleep. I needed it. Uh, Ryu is going to be the end of me, as these Ryu stays normally always are. I knew what I was getting into with the day parties and the night parties, and I think I always see them coming, and every time I think I know what I'm going to expect, they always just throw an awesome party that gets even better and better. That nighttime party last night was insane. The DJ was out of this world. They had some really cool theatrics. People were having the best time ever. The crowd was so much fun. They were amazing. I mean, the party went hard from 7.30 all the way till midnight. I left with a huge smile on my face, but extremely exhausted, and here I am now at 4 p.m. So I need to get myself and this hotel stay back on track. I think that's gonna start with dinner. In a little bit, I'm gonna head to the very best restaurant on site, Cristal. Of the three Cristals I've been to in the last eight months, this one is by far the most stunning on the inside. When I walked in, I couldn't believe I was at a Ryu. The place was striking. Polished gold ceilings, crown molding, big beautiful columns. It was a very, very comfortable and classy spot to have dinner. I wish I could say the same thing about the food. Of the three Cristals I've been to, this one was by far the most lackluster specifically the entrees. Uh, both of them were wildly overcooked. So the entertainment show is just kicking off. I wanted to check it out. It's going on right now, so I think that's my cue to get over there. The lobby bar closes early. I mean, officially it closes at 11.59 p.m., which I think is very early for a Ryu, uh, but also it closed early last night. It closed at like 11.30, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to have a drink there. That bar is absolutely stunning. So I had to pivot and I went over to the sports bar. That is open 24 seven. You can get a drink in there at any time of day or night. Beyond drinks, there is a buffet in there. You can get a bite at any time of day or night. There are TVs to watch your favorite team. And there are some games in there also. All right, Ryu Palace, Putacana, what is this place like? Um, I'm gonna give you three negatives and three positives. Let's get the negatives out of the way. Uh, the first big negative is the pool scene. The pool scene here, 
for a Ryu is very disappointing, especially a Ryu Palace. There are really only two pools here, and I thought the main one where all the action is was severely undersized given the scale and price of the property. The second negative is the food. Now, the food here wasn't bad. Uh, you always have to lower your standards when you go to an all-inclusive, and I always say when you go to a Ryu, you need to lower them even further. Uh, there were some bright spots for the food, which I'll talk about in a second, but overall, if you are a foodie, you're going to be a little disappointed when you come to a Ryu. And lastly, overall, like the pools, I just thought the property was undersized. Yes, there are multiple pools and multiple restaurants, but for a Ryu Palace, it just felt small. So those are the negatives, but what about the positives? I'm going to contradict myself a little bit and say the first big positive is the buffet. It is the bright spot of food options here at Ryu Palace Putacana. I ate there multiple times. I would have never thought I'd be selecting a Ryu buffet over their other restaurants here, but for a Ryu, the buffet is really unbelievable. And just in general for a hotel, it's actually pretty good. Energy is the second big positive here at Ryu Palace Putacana. Uh, a lot of these family hotels can be really quite boring, and even some Ryu Palaces can be a little slow. This one is not. It is lively, it is fun, and it is energetic. And lastly, value. Ryus always do a phenomenal job at delivering value. I think they're one of the best bangs for the buck in terms of all-inclusives. You get a lot for your money when you stay here at Ryu Palace. You get a spacious and bright, clean, modern room. You also get access to all the other Ryu properties on site. So if things get a little predictable here, you can switch things up. And when you stay here, you get access to the Ryu Party Zone. When it comes to having fun or partying or having the best time ever, there isn't another hotel chain that comes close in Punta Cana. Yeah, the food was a little hit or miss and the pools and property were undersized, but you get so much for your money. It is an energetic family hotel and you get access to every other Ryu on the complex. Uh, I can definitely see why that this place is the most popular Ryu in Putacana. I don't act rich on Instagram.